In this video, we're going to continue with what we were doing, but we'll go in the opposite direction. We'll talk about eighth notes, 16th notes, 32nd notes, and beyond, really to as small of a note as you could possibly imagine. So when we started last time, we had a quarter note and we went into bigger and bigger sizes, but what if we want to go into smaller and smaller sizes? Well, a quarter note gets one beat, so the next type of note gets half of a beat, and that would be an eighth note. Again, there's a video where I'll talk about how to draw these, and there's two different ways. Sometimes you see an eighth note by itself that looks like this, with a stem and a flag, or sometimes you see them beamed together like this. You can watch that notation video to figure out how to do that. But for now, I'm going to draw them all in pairs like this. Two eighth notes have the same amount of time as a quarter note. So in the same amount of time as four eighth notes, we could have eight eighth notes. Remember we said, uh, sorry, it's four quarter notes rather, we could have eight eighth notes. Remember I said in the last video that a quarter note is a quarter of a measure? Well, an eighth note is an eighth of a measure, so you could have eight of them total. And this is half of a beat. So how would we count that? Well, instead of saying for the quarter notes, one, two, three, four, we would say it like this. One and two and three and four and etc. I didn't write them all out, but you get the idea now. I could add those ends when I'm counting quarter notes like this. One and two and three and four and, or I could do eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. So my count has to get a little bit smaller. The one or the number represents the beat that I'm coming in on. One, two, three, four. There are four beats in this measure. The and represents exactly halfway in between. One and, two and, three and, four and. What if I want to get smaller than an eighth note? Well, notationally, it's pretty easy. I just make an extra beam. So there are two sixteenth notes for every eighth note. There are four sixteenth notes for every quarter note, right? Of course, I wouldn't actually draw these little upside down V's this is just to show you how many can fit inside of there. So I could keep going down and every time I would do it, the number would double. Whole note doubles, half note doubles, quarter note doubles, eighth. In other words, the number is doubling. The actual division is getting half the length. So the numbers are going one for a whole note, two for a half note, four for a quarter note, eight eighth notes, 16 sixteenth notes. The next half of note would be 32, 64. And you could just keep adding more and more notes. All you're going to do, I'm gonna draw it over here because I'm out of space, is add more beams. Right now I have four eighth notes. If I wanna double that number and go from eighth to sixteenth, now I've got four sixteenth notes. So if I wanna double that note number and go from 16 to 32, now I've got four 32nd notes, 64th notes. Theoretically, you could keep going on for a long time, but realistically, we don't see smaller than 16th notes too often. And when we do, it very, very rarely would go past the 64th note. That's getting into a very, very small division of a beat, of what we would usually see. If you found that video helpful, please click the subscribe button below to find more videos just like it.